Hey everybody, and welcome to another um, <clears throat> movie dinner night. I am joined in the kitchen by Ruben today. He's going to help me out. I'm and uh, are you excited, babe? Yes. Yeah. So excited. So excited, I bet. <laughs> this is the first one he gets to help me with. He always gets mad like, aren't I going to be around to record? I'm like, you're working when we're prepping everything. But this time he actually gets to help. So um, we're excited and we're going to go ahead and get it all started for you guys. Okay, so these are the ingredients you're going to want in order to prep your beef uh, gyro meat. Um, now, this is more of an American-style gyro, um, and we're using all ground beef today because it's kind of a little bit hard to find lamb in our area. Um, but regardless of that, I don't personally really like lamb, and with the girls... Um, Savannah especially is kind of picky too so we decided to just do all beef so we've got two pounds of ground beef we've got an onion quartered we have two tablespoons of minced garlic we're gonna add some cumin we're gonna add some thyme there it is some thyme salt pepper and also some oregano and Reuben is here to help me with that so let's get started you want to start with the onions first? Yep, go ahead and put those onions in the processor. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I guess you can throw the garlic in there too. You usually do it separate, but that's fine. Oh, really? Yeah. You want to? And then put the lid on it. Oh, we're chopping it? Yep. Making room. You're going to chop up that onion real quick. Mm -hmm. And just pulse it. I'll add all the beef in. Up, right? Yeah, no. And then we're going to go ahead and add the salt. That's going to be um, two teaspoons of salt. So there's one. And here's two. And then next is the oregano. You want one teaspoon of oregano, of dried oregano, but you want it to be kind of a heaping spoonful of oregano mm. and then we're also going to put some thyme in there we're going to use I'm going to use half a teaspoon of thyme just kind of like that I don't use a full teaspoon and then we're going to use one teaspoon of cumin how much salt uh, pepper and then it's half a teaspoon of pepper which is good because you know me and pepper yeah. so it doesn't call for a ton of it that should be good it's it? probably half okay let's put all that in and that is it for the seasoning. So you can put that lid back on there and chop it some more. That's your favorite part, isn't it? Yep. Okay, and there's our meat done and minced up as much as we can get it all mixed together. Took a little bit of effort. Our thing just wasn't big enough for the two pounds of meat. But um, anyway, so our next step is we're going to dump that into a loaf pan and we're going to bake that at 325 for about an hour okay so Ruben's going to put it into the loaf pan for us no it doesn't look super appetizing right now it's just come, will come out as like a nice loaf And once you're done doing that, we have our oven already set to 325. Um, it's actually still preheating, so we'll go ahead and pop that in the oven once it's done, and we will show you what it looks like when it comes out. 
And here's our meat done, just came out of the oven. What you wanna do now at this point is let it rest. Once it's rested long enough and it's cool enough, I'm gonna cover it up and put it in the fridge overnight. Um, you don't wanna touch it or cut into it or anything until it's completely, completely cool or it's just gonna crumble on you. So you wanna make sure that you have it set. I, I like to leave it overnight in the fridge. Um, you don't necessarily have to as long as it's totally cool before you cut into it. And then we will check back with you tomorrow when we make the tzatziki sauce and um, all the rest of the components for this. Welcome back. Next on our to-do list is the tzatziki sauce. And I am going solo for this one. Um, as you can see here, we have white wine vinegar, some dill, salt, a cucumber already peeled, Greek yogurt, extra virgin olive oil, and some minced garlic. So all of that is going to make up our tzatziki sauce. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna start by grating our cucumber. And we're gonna do that on the bigger side of the grater so that we can get longer pieces. And go ahead and use the entire cucumber. Until you're done. And that's it. Once you're done, take your cucumber and you just want to dump it in your bowl like that. You're going to add some of your white wine vinegar, maybe about like a tablespoonish in there. That should be plenty. And then a dash of salt. You want to give that a good mix. And we're going to set that off to the side and let it rest for a bit. What we're trying to do here is get those ingredients to draw out all the water from the cucumber because cucumbers have a ton of water. And you don't want that into your actual tzatziki sauce. It's going to ruin the texture. So we'll set that off to the side now and we'll move on to the sauce. So with the, the actual components of the sauce, you're gonna start with your Greek yogurt. This is probably about two cups of yogurt. Um, I didn't really measure any of it, but it, uh, it looks like it's about two cups. And then you're gonna take your minced garlic Dump that into a chopper, food processor. I guess this is a mini food processor. We call it a chopper. Um, it's one of our favorite tools here. I'm sure you've seen that already. And then you want to add in about three tablespoons-ish of olive oil. And actually pretty much finishes off my bottle here. And then you want to mince that up. You don't want big chunks of the garlic in your mix. You want it to be really nice and finely ground together. And the olive oil should help with that process. All right, and that should be good. We're now gonna add this garlic and oil mixture into our yogurt. Get all that in there. that a good mix around, incorporate all of it, and then next you're going to want to add your white wine vinegar. Um, I will do just like a little bit at a time and test 
probably a couple tablespoons full first. And add some salt. And then one thing I did forget is pepper. You want to add just a dash of pepper to it, not too much. Give that all a real good mix again. I'm going to give it a little bit of a taste. Vinegar is probably good. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more salt. And then now I'm going to finish getting those cucumbers ready. As you can see, there's a lot of water in there. So I'm going to grab some paper towels and wring that out into a bowl. Okay, so I'm just going to grab them and put them on this paper towel. them out as best as I can. You can see all that water that comes out of those. So I'm going to hand it, bust it open and get on me. So I think that's going to have to be it. I really should have used a rag. I just don't have any. So we're going to go ahead and put this into our mix and get it all mixed up real good and give it another test. All right, that's that, mix in the cucumber. And it looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a little bit of a taste. Perfect, I think it is perfect. And that is it for the tzatziki sauce. Pretty simple. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I completely forgot one of the main ingredients for the tzatziki, which is the dill. Can't believe I did that. So we're gonna go ahead and add dill. This is dried dill, so you don't need as much as if you were to put fresh chopped dill. So we're just gonna sprinkle some of that in. Um, it's probably about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. I'm going to give that a mix. Test it one more time. Can't believe I forgot one of the most important ingredients. There it is. All right. So that does it. For real this time, we got everything we need in this one. Okay, Athena is going to help me with the dessert now. What are we making? <laughs> you didn't even know what it's called. <laughs> We're making Greek honey cake. <laughs> okay. Good job. Good job. Okay. So for the cake itself, these are the ingredients. We need three eggs, quarter cup of milk. Um, I wrote it down, but we need some powdered sugar, or uh, sorry, baking powder, some ground cinnamon. Uh, we need three quarters cup of butter and orange zest and flour and that's those are the components um where'd our sugar go we have three quarter cup sugar somewhere too the small one yeah there we go there we go when do we had it all out and some sugar um this is what we need we're gonna start by zesting our orange and then we're gonna start combining everything Okay, so we only need a teaspoon of orange zest, so I'm just going to take it and use my sister. You, you run it over like that until you start to see white. And then you use to spin it and you zest some more, okay? Okay. See how it's doing that? You want to mm -hmm. keep turning it so you get the orange peel.
Okay, now that the orange is zested, we're going to start by putting our dry ingredients into a medium bowl and mixing. So go ahead and um, pour in the flour, not your, the sugar is, yeah, it's dry, but that's not what we're going to use. So flour, your baking powder, and how much baking powder? Uh, forgot to Next up is the honey syrup that goes on top of the cake once it's cooked. So what you want to do for this is you want to pour in your three quarters cup of water, your sh one cup of sugar, and your one cup of honey, and you want to bring that to a simmer and you want to simmer that for five minutes. All right, this has been simmering for five minutes now. I'm going to go ahead and add a tablespoon of lemon juice. And I'm just guessing on it. I know. Sorry. I do it all the time. I'm sure you guys hate that I do that. Mix that in. And then we want to turn it up to a boil and we want it to boil for two minutes. So once that's done, that's it. All right, and now Savannah's gonna help me with the drink. And <laughs> so this is kind of my own concoction. I uh, made it up, I didn't find it anywhere. Um, if somebody else has done this, no idea, can't find it. So what Great we're man. gonna do is, I want to make a gold drink 
to go with the whole Hercules theme. So my thought was to keep it gold, I would use like a white peach or white grape peach juice and then add some Sprite to it to give it just a little bit of a ting in it. So why don't you go ahead and do that, Savannah? What we're gonna do is um, maybe, let's start with the juice. Okay. Um, we kind of tested it a little bit and I think we like it better with more Sprite. So put in maybe two thirds of the juice. Like that's gonna be like down to here. And see, that juice already has kind of a gold tint to it, so we want to try to keep that. Um, so we don't want to overdo it on the Sprite, but I think we want more Sprite than the juice. So go ahead and pour that in, and we're just kind of eyeballing it until we think it looks right. Oops, splashing everywhere now. I got hit with that. <laughs> Pour it, yeah, a little slower. And I think, I'm thinking that's about right. What do you think? Because I think we filled it about here, right? With the mm -hmm. juice. Um, now let's go ahead and add just a little bit more. All right. Okay, and honestly, like that really does it. We'll give it a mix. But that's the drink. It's nice and gold. And I do have a little secret that we're going to use to make it actual, like, really gold and shimmery. And we'll show you that, um, after. <laughs> we'll show you that after that. But what I'm also going to do for the adult version of this drink, I'm going to add some vodka. I'm not going to do it now. I'll show you when we mix our personal drinks. But I'm going to add a little bit of peach schnapps and some vodka to our cups just to make it more of an adult drink. So um, you can make it like we just showed you for kids or you can add some, you know, your own thing, spice it up. Um, rum might be okay, but I personally feel like the vodka because the vodka is not going to change the flavor too much. And then the peach schnapps will just enhance the peach of the juice. Um, but let's show you our special little trick right now that's going to end up making our drink shimmer. All right, so go ahead, fill your cup with ice, pour some in, and then next up, to make this nice and shiny and shimmer, we're going to add some luster dust. It's something that's used in baking quite a bit, not too much, uh, a little more than that. There you go. And then you want to give it a stir and watch the magic happen. There you go. Can you see all of that nice shimmeriness? And now we have our golden drink for Hercules. I am going to call this the Wonder Boy, which is what Meg likes to call Hercules. So let's call it the Wonder Boy. What do you think? I like that. All right. And that is our drink. Like I said, for the adult version, we will add a little bit of alcohol to it. Okay, so our gyro meat is ready to be cut into. I've already made a few slices. You want to make some thin slices, which is why it was important for the meat to be really cool. So you just want to cut into your loaf like that and make a bunch of slices. You want to keep it pretty thin. Um, you can fill into your pan. Let that heat up. And then once it's heated up, you're going to put in um, some slices of the meat, fry it up on both sides. All right, so you just want to fry it up and start to get it like a nice golden brown on there. Get a little toast on, one, on each side, and then they'll go inside the sandwiches. All right, and here's the table setting for Hercules. Went, uh, tried to go pretty Greek on this one. 
Um, the tablecloth is just a plastic tablecloth again from Walmart. Picked up these gold plates. It was a set of six for $10 at Michael's. The gold silverware here, finally, have something that matches this time around. Um, it's just gold plastic um, silverware from Walmart for $2. Um, the napkins, the white napkins I've had, you saw that. Um, I bought these gold rings off of Amazon for $12, I think, for the set of six. Um, and then over here to the centerpiece, you see these gold leaves. It was a candle holder. I kind of modified it, painted it black, um, painted it gold. And then this pillar that you see here, it was a wooden um, candle pillar. I just painted that gold as well. And um, I think I spent $3.50 for both of those over at the thrift store. And that's it. That is our table setting. Okay, here's our table with our food out here now. We've got our drinks ready to go. Here's the meat all fried up. We have our veggies to go inside it. The tomatoes are from Savannah's tomato plant outside. At least most of them are. And then here is our homemade tzatziki. We are going to make our sandwiches now and chow down. I'm excited. What about you? Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> there it is. Next to Where's mine? Here is the Greek honey cake. What what do you think? You've eaten some of it. Is it good? Delicious. Do you like it? How about you? Is that good? <laughs> is it good? Mm -hmm. Eva, is it good? Nummy nummy? You got food all over your face. Mm, nummy, nummy. <laughs> <laughs> it's busted. Take a bite. <laughs> Yay, Auntie! <laughs> Very moist. Yeah. Oh, the honey like goes way down in there, and I do get that orange zest now mm -hmm. as I've taken a bite of it. For real. That's for real. Good. I mean, for sure. For real. Yum, for yum. real. <laughs> this is well, that was be and this concludes our Hercules edition. And uh, what did everyone think? I love the great. movie. I like the <laughs> You like the movie, Melissa? I like the I music. Did. Yeah, the music. Really the food was time. really good. I really, really liked that gyro meat. Yeah, it was yummy. It was good. You and did a good job. And then that cake. Oh, oh so moist. was really moist. was really good. Kind of sweet. <sighs> I'm going to be sick now, probably. <laughs> Pretty sure so it's already been like an hour and a half. Yeah. We watched the whole movie. You're still full? Savannah, what did you think? Did you like it? Yeah. 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 We had your tomatoes. They were delicious. <laughs> that All was right. the best part of the meal. You could hardly so, taste the worms. <laughs> From her. Okay, so um, we're going to draw our next movie. And Melissa is going to do Eva's that. Or is she going to let Eva do it? Eva's going to draw the next Pick movie. Pick one. Make sure she doesn't put it Pick in her one. mouth. I know, I got to be quick here. Grab it. Oh, okay. grab the hat. No, nope, she's I'm not grabbing it. it. <laughs> So I mean, you want her to grab something. I know. Savannah's Wreck-It Ralph 2. Wreck-It oh, Ralph 2. Pancakes and root beer floats. We're going to make pancakes, those fluffy pancakes from Fluffy Bunny that he plays. And we're going to make root beer floats. I'll be here for the floats. You're not going to have the pancakes? <laughs> Probably not. All right, so that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed.